In this video, we are going to discuss about Gibbs free energy as a generating function. We know four fundamental property relations. Out of those four relations, one is VDP minus STT. This equation indicates that Gibbs free energy is a function of two canonical variables P and T, pressure and temperature. If we compare this equation with other three fundamental relations, all those include something like entropy as canonical variable, somewhere volume as canonical variable, but this DZ is a function of P and T and this pressure and temperature are easy to measure. The topic indicates that we can develop the equation something like Gibbs free energy with enthalpy, Gibbs free energy with entropy, Gibbs free energy with internal energy. If we are able to know the value of P and T, then we are able to know the value of G, then if we have any other relation of G and H, G and V, G and H, then we can calculate all properties from the value of pressure and temperature. Here I am going to write G as a function of two canonical variables that is P and T. If I take the differentiation of this equation, then it would be dz equal to del G over del P at constant temperature and the second derivative del T at constant pressure dt. If we compare these two equations 1 and 2, then we know that V is equal to something like del G over del P at constant temperature that is equal to V and the second would be del G over del P at constant del T at constant P that is equal to minus S. If we know the partial derivative of G with respect to pressure at constant temperature that is equal to V, means the v, we can calculate the value of V from G, we can calculate the value of entropy from G. This is, uh, these are the two relations from where we can get the value of V and S. I am going to write one dimension less number that is G upon RT because the unit of G that is the kilojoule per kilo mole. So, if you divide by RT then it is dimension less number. And the other thing is in chemical engineering we are using many dimensionless number. It makes uh, any calculation more easier. So instead of properties using with unit, we can use dimensionless number. So I am going to use G upon RT. If I take the differentiation of this G upon RT and there are two variables, one is Gibbs free energy G, other is T and if I take initially G upon R is constant, then it would be something like minus 1 upon T square dt and the second part 1 upon RT is constant, then it is differentiation of dg. Okay, so this, uh, this is the one equation. If I, I, I can write little bit easier way, then it would be something like dg upon RT minus g upon rt square dt. So, let me write this is equation number 3. The other thing is uh, from this equation number 3 as well as from equation 1 and I can also write more equation that is g equal to h minus ts that I can write this is equation number of 4. And this is the equation number of that is the one. If I am going to put the value of this dz here as well as this g here, then it would be dz equal to vdp minus s dt upon rt. So I am writing in this way s dt upon rt. Here again g equal to h minus ts. So, it, uh, it can be written in this way h minus rt square h, h upon rt square minus minus plus ts 1 t will be cancelled. So, s rt into dt. 
now this would be cancel so the equation is something like d g upon r t equal to v d p upon r t minus h upon r t square and here i i forgot to write d t so it should be d t h upon r t square d t if i compare uh, okay this is the one equation number is 4 uh, 5 if i take uh, if i consider the equation number 2 and i am i am going to divide this equation by r t so it would be d g over r t equal to d g del g over r t upon del p at constant temperature d p plus again del g over r t over del t at constant p d t. So this is the equation number 6. If we compare equation 5 and 6, right, LHS is same. So if we compare these two equations, then it would be something like V upon R T equal to del G over R T over del P at constant temperature and the other equation minus, it is minus H upon R T square. So I am writing in this way, H upon R T equal to minus T del G over R T del T at constant P. If you know the value of pressure, temperature, then you can calculate the value of Gibbs free energy. If you know the value of Gibbs free energy, then you can calculate the value of V, you can calculate the value of S, again V upon RT, H upon RT. So these are the equations uh, where we can apply, we can put the value of G and we can derive, uh, we can calculate the values of of other property. Uh, this equation can be also uh, written suppose uh, if we know this G equal to H minus T L, if I divide by uh, this equation by R T, then it would be something like S upon R. So even entropy also can be obtained because G upon R T if you know then H upon R T is this equation, then S upon R also it can be calculated. The other equation is something like U plus PV, enthalpy equal to U plus PV. So, uh, what I can do, I am going to divide H upon RT equal to U upon RT plus PV upon RT. About idea, if we talk about an ideal gas, then PV upon RT equal to 1. Otherwise, we can just put the value V upon RT. We have the equation in terms of Gibbs free energy u upon rt we want to calculate h upon rt as a function of gibbs free energy that is available gibbs free energy as a generating function if you know the value of uh, I, at the starting of this topic i have explained that if you know the value of these two parameter then you can calculate g if you can calculate g then you can calculate all other properties something like enthalpy entropy internal energy Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.